वेलकम टू टॉप क्रू एविएशन दिस इज योर कैप्टन पी के यादव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज वी ऑल नो नाउ दैट वी फॉलो ए काउ फ्लाइट प्लान लेट मी मेक यू वेरी क्लियर फॉर पायलट्स फ्लाइट प्लान स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आइटम नंबर थ्री जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड बेटर आइटम नंबर थ्री देर आर सम एब्रीविएशन विच वी नीड टू रिमेंबर like pln papa lima november stands for flight plan fpl if we have filed a flight plan then it would be known as fpl after filing any flight plan if we make any kind of changes all right so after correction it would be known as cpl stands for current flight plan so the cpl would be only after making correction in fpl so i hope you understand guys the next one is rpl that is repetitive flight plan it is mandatory like we have filed any flight plan for at least 10 consecutive days then only we can refer that particular flight plan as a repetitive flight plan note guys we would have to maintain date in case date of file and date of departure is not same otherwise not which means if we are filing flight plan today but not departing today we have to maintain the date otherwise not so now as we all know about item number 3 let's talk about item number 7 which is next aircraft identification so as we can see in this uh, particular item number 7 which is aircraft identification maximum 7 characters we can insert so uh we we do not have any option to write if you have something which is more than seven characters and what we need to answer were and what kind of letters we would be putting in in this item number 7 so this consist of aircraft registration letters or the company designator followed by the flight number guys which is to be used by air traffic services for radio telephony communication and coordination now we would understand like how these things uh, like registration and identification of aircraft are working in india so guys victor tango has given a cow code for indian civil aircraft how it is working and how we you know decide or authorities we do not decide guys authorities decide about the aircraft registration code or identification code uh, let's say for an example victor tango alpha bravo charlie so victor tango as we have discussed already is a country code and what is abc is aircraft registration code issued by dgca who would issue this registration code dgca director general of civil aviation in india as we all aware so dgca takes alphabets between alpha 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 to zulu 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 except there are four codes which we do not use if i'm saying we do not use it means over here i'm talking about dgca guys so except tango 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 x ray x ray x ray pan and sox these four codes dgca cannot use in registration so why dgca cannot use it because these codes are already being used in emergencies so i hope it is clear guys note guys certificate of aircraft would be given by moca but registration and file would be maintained by dgca guys very important this is a question for your part 2 so 
and one more thing we should know aircraft registration must be written in italic font and one more question for part two where we can find aircraft registration so number one we can get it on fuselage number two we can get it on tail number three under the wings and number four which is inside the cockpit do remember guys very important and now how to identify an aircraft because registration and identification both are different guys registration is something else identification is something else so we would discuss in later uh, when aircraft registration is uh, identification for any aircraft and when it is not so guys aircraft identification would be given by schedule operators all right and for civil and private aircraft their registration would be their identification guys do not get confused between registration and identification all right so like if we are flying in schedule operators like indigo jerrywes and uh, go air these are the schedule operators because you know they they have lots of aircraft so their identification would be flight number all right guys we will discuss about it later so if like we have any personal aircraft or civil aircraft general aviation aircraft their identification would be their registration number only all right so let me know in case if you have any kind of doubt between these uh, two terms so again one more thing we should know like uh, for a scheduled flight an aircraft identity would be airline a cow code followed by flight number again guys remember that boarding pass would always carry ita code not a cow code so do not get confused between a cow code and ita codes again this is one of your question for part two so let's have a look like name of airline is indigo a cow code of indigo is i go ita code is sexy so guys both are different and rt designator how do we pronounce as we have already learned i fly so indigo is the name of airline i go is the ikao code ita is uh, like sexy is ita code and i fly is the rt designator for indigo so in a similar fashion we can read about jet airways spice jet and air india guys in case of any scheduled flight if any atc is asking for aircraft registration then we would always check item number 18 in flight plan so that we can get this information all right guys so now most frequent option for general aviation is aircraft registration which means that other than scheduled operators like non-schedule operators general aviation personal aircrafts their registration would be their identification it should be clear now guys so other than a schedule operator their registration would be their identification and for schedule operators identification would be provided by operator all right guys here you go your checklist like subscribe and share